Hi everyone, it's Don and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, we have an update on the man who went overboard on the Norwegian Pearl's headbanger cruise. We have Royal Caribbean changing one ship completely for next year, and that uh, also affects a second Royal Caribbean ship that had its itineraries completely changed. And then we have a woman who is furious with Carnival over a reason I never even thought about. So unfortunately, we have some bad news. The, the search has now been officially called off of the man who went overboard on the Norwegian Pearl, heading back to Miami. He was on that Headbangers cruise, which is uh, a metal rock cruise, chartered ship. It was only people there for that entertainment. And yeah, it was pretty rough seas and everything that night. They, they searched longer than I thought they would. But again, condolences go out to the friends and family. I know they'll still hold out hope. And uh, we can always hope for a miraculous ending to this. But as of now, the search has been called off. Next, we have Royal Caribbean. And they are changing one ship next year, the uh, Jewel of the Seas. And they are switching it around because it was scheduled to go multiple sailings in the Med to Israel. Well, of course, with everything going on in Israel and that, they've decided they better change their direction and everything. So what they're doing is they're going to, during that season, they're going to bring it to Boston, where it will do cruises out of Boston up the Canada coast and places like that. Well, that decision has now affected another ship which is also is there is the grandeur of the seas and the grandeur of the seas was set to come from the caribbean over to boston to do those canada cruises and also had a cruise up the canada coast new england over to greenland which is uh, one of those rare cruises right there's not a lot of cruises that head, head out to greenland and that so it's been cancelled because it is now going to stay in the caribbean so here's the thing, if you have any of those cruises that were booked on either of those two ships, there are multiple choices. They will offer you full refunds, they will offer you to switch it over to other crews, etc. But again, it's one of those things that you thought, for instance, a Canada cruise or a New England cruise out of Boston was pretty secure. What can happen? Well, something that happens thousands of miles away to another ship has now just changed and affected your cruise as well. I know some people will be disappointed with that, but it's one of those decisions that the cruise lines kind of have to make. They have to do these changes because there are certain places in the world right now we just can't go. Now next, I have a story about a woman who is absolutely furious, and I mean absolutely furious with Carnival Cruise Line. I got an email about this and I think someone's also sent a message to John Heald because I read a much nicer uh, worded comment, shall we say, on his Facebook page. But, but, but before I get there, let me just invite you to, to hit that subscribe button. If you haven't done so already, if you want to keep up to date with everything going on in cruising, from the ships being changed to the new ships launching to tips and tricks to price increases, you name it, we'll cover it here on the channel and we'll try and keep you as best informed as we possibly can and maybe even save you a little time and a little money in the process. Doesn't cost a single thing, but boy, it really does help the channel out if you subscribe. Okay, I got an email about a woman who was absolutely furious and I can tell right away that this person has never stepped foot on a cruise ship in their life. So let me explain the situation to you. They were going on a seven day carnival cruise. She did not specify the cruise ship or anything like that, but she says everything was going fine. They, uh, they checked their bags in with the porters downstairs and they went about the, on the ship. They were you know, exploring the ship, first time on a cruise. 
and then they went to their rooms when their cabin was announced that it was ready and they immediately put all their stuff from their suitcases away. Sounds like a pretty normal cruise, right? Sounds like everything's going just according to plan. Well, there's where the trouble started. They called their stateroom attendant and when the, the stateroom attendant showed up at the door, they said, okay, our bags are ready to take now. And <laughs> of course, the stateroom attendant was a little confused and they said, well, yeah, we don't, you don't expect us to keep the empty bags in our room, do you? They take up space, it's a small cabin. And they said, ma'am, I'm sorry, we don't store everybody's luggage on the cruise ship. That's what the closet's for, that's what's under the bed's for and everything. And the woman took apparently, she didn't say it in her email that she took, shall I say, a hissy fit? <laughs> but from context, I'm taking it that she did because she then, asked to speak to the hotel manager about it. So obviously they were upset enough to contact the hotel manager of the cruise ship where they, uh, he said, well, you know, I can ha ha let him know or you can go down and see if you can find him at the front desk. And they, well, that's where they decided to go with their luggage. They brought their luggage down to the front desk and demanded to speak to the hotel director and then wanted to know why they wouldn't take their empty bags and store them until the end of the cruise. I, I, I've never heard this before in my life. I've never heard this and I'm looking at this in email in disbelief. <laughs> like, um, what? No, they can handle your bags to get them to your room. So you don't have to carry them to your room. You don't have to walk around with all your luggage. Some people remember carry, you know, five, six suitcases when they go on a cruise, Just if you, especially if you have kids, you have a lot of luggage. Or if you're on a cruise that regards uh, like lots of formal wear or stuff like that, people like to dress up and they bring a lot of stuff. Well, Cruise lines can't store everybody's luggage. Can you imagine how much storage that would take up on a cruise ship? If you had, you know, 5,000 passengers on your cruise ship and how many bags that would be to sort and then bring out for everybody and bring back to their rooms on the disembarkation night, it would be a logistical nightmare for the cruises. So I politely emailed to the lady that this is the case and that, you know, all cruise lines do this. Nobody stores people's luggage. It would just take up too much space on your ship that they wouldn't be able to store things like the food on board and, you know, the, the liquor on board, et cetera, et cetera. They would have to cut all of that stuff on the ship in order to store everybody's empty suitcases and also, what would happen if your empty suitcase went missing while they, you know, you don't get your empty suitcase till 10 o'clock at night on disembarkation day to, you see what I mean? It's a logistical nightmare. Well, apparently she didn't like my answer and uh, said, quote unquote, well, you're no help at all. <laughs> and I guess in this case, absolutely, I'm no help at all in this situation. Well, let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, I think that's one of the craziest stories I've ever heard. Well, I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. We'll see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world. Hit that subscribe button till next time. Have yourself a safe and a great vacation.